Indians had locked themselves inside their homes for more than a month now. As they were constrained within the four walls of their houses, they were faced with anxiety, depression, mood swings and a loss of appetite. As India is facing a mental health crisis situation, more than 5000 people are reaching out to government helplines every day. At this point in time, the millennial migrants are finding it very hard as communication is very difficult. My name is Priyanka Minj. Hi, this is Sanju Chakitesh. I'm 21 years of age from Chennai, India. Both the lockdown and pandemic has definitely affected my mental health and I have anxiety issues. So living in a different city away from your family and having to do everything on your own without their help and support is definitely very very daunting. My only concern right now is staying safe until my return back home and to return back home to my parents safely. And no matter how much ever other people support um, provide help at the end of the day uh, they are not really your family social interaction is not the only problem a lot of youngsters who thought that they would happily move back to their parents place and spend some quality time are also facing a lot of trouble adjusting after they have moved back family life is also causing a lot of distress in complicating relationships For certain people they might not be used to staying with their family for a very long time and they might be uh, you know like they would have had to come back from wherever they were staying to you know stay as a family together and that might be trying to reestablish uh, a new normal for them and that could be quite difficult it's been 8 years since i've been actually out of home and this is the longest period of time i've stayed at home so um i i don't know maybe i i miss my freedom now i guess for different people uh, the answer is very different after one and a half months of quarantine i don't i don't even feel like you know um having any human contact i have started actually avoiding most of my friends calls the way that i have been coping with it though is by uh keeping up with the te- techniques that i learn in therapy and also keeping up with therapy so i've uh i i still do talk to my therapist i have video call sessions with her and um any time i feel overwhelmed i know that i always have somebody to reach out to Though it is practically not possible to get back, it would be in the fitness of things to use one's emotional intelligence to handle stress and remain sane. Feeling good is the only way that you can take the right action. So how do you feel good is you have to shift from the lower self to your higher self. So how do you do that is first thing is as I told you earlier taking ownership that knowing understanding that emotions are coming from the brain so therefore it's my responsibility. So take three long breath you know and breathe through that part of the body and then say something nice to yourself. the second one is uh, uh, you know no power struggle don't step into any kind of argument if you are alone don't go for any inner conflict either accept yourself as you are or raise uh, reduce your expectation from yourself uh, if you living with a family members you know to whom to expect and what to expect so if you are going to have a very high expectation on the other person where you are trying to meet your own needs like uh, being loved or being accepted or uh, being uh, you know um, recognized and you want people to appreciate you or people accept you that song it happen always because you are also under stress now so this understanding you must know and you start soothing yourself first and then you have to reciprocate to them uh, some of the students of christ university who are passing out this year we decided to come up with a crowdsource list of all the people who would be willing to take up free sessions uh, sessions pro bono for uh, those uh, who require it the most during this time um especially considering the situation and as mental health advocates we thought that it was the best move to do to kind of uh, help as many people as we can and reach out to as many people because it can be a very mentally taxing time and as much as everyone's focusing on the physical aspect of it uh, it can be draining uh, for a lot of people mentally as well which needs to be recognized and which needs to be spoken about especially in a country like ours which um, has been neglecting mental health for quite some time now